Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about libraries in File Explorer and then how you could use them to kind of consolidate uh, similar folders into one location, making them easier to access. So they're similar to the quick access section here where you can kind of have your favorites, you know, shortcuts and that type of thing. But the libraries actually let you combine folders from different locations all in one space. So when you make these libraries, you're not actually moving your folders to the library. It's just kind of making a pointer to that location which allows you to open your folders all from one place. So as you can see here, we don't have any libraries. That's because it's not enabled, and that's usually the default setting in Windows. So if we right-click in a blank spot, we could choose Show Libraries. So here are the libraries. So you can see we have a Documents library, which is the same thing as our Documents folder here. Same for Music, Pictures, and Videos. So to make a new library, you just right-click on the Main Libraries folder, New Library. Say so we're going to call this sales for our sales information. All right, so now if we go to that library, we don't have any folders in that library, so we're going to include a folder. So let's go to our documents here. Let's say we want these confidential files. And you can see there are subfolders within that, so if we pick the main root folder, you can see it adds the subfolders as well. So that's kind of one of the downsides is whatever's in that folder, even if it's other folders, will be added to your library. And of course, you can change your views like so. And if you go back to your main libraries folder here, you can see it gives you a heading name for the main root folder here. All right, so let's add another folder by right clicking, going back to properties. So you can't just drag and drop folders into it. You have to actually add them. So let's see what happens if you try and do that. So let's say we put this logs folder in here. It'll copy it to that actual location there, but it's not going to add it as an actual new folder in the libraries here. It just puts it in with these other files and folders here from a confidential files folder. And if you delete something in the library such as this, it's going to actually delete it from your computer. So keep that in mind too. Alright, so back to adding a new folder to the library here. So go back to Properties. Click on Add. Let's go to the E drive this time. We have our sales data, so let's add that. Alright, so now you can see we have another group here. So we have our Confidential Files group and our Sales Data group along with our subfolders, and you could collapse them if you don't want to see the contents. All right, so what happens if we remove a folder from one of these libraries? So like I said, if you delete it from the library, it's going to delete it from the computer, so keep that in mind. So let's go into that sales data folder on the E drive here. Let's say I took this out of here. Now you can see it's out of there too. So it will update as you add and remove files and folders from the real files and folders, like here. And then of course I could put this here if I want to. So I copy this to my sales data. Now if I go back here, it's here. So even though these are technically, you know, shortcuts or virtual folders, you could still add and remove things from them and it'll reflect accordingly. So just be careful when you're removing data from your libraries. Don't go thinking that it's going to be just removing the shortcut or the pointer because it's going to actually remove the contents itself. All right, so if we right click on the sales library here, go to properties, we have some other options here. You can set your save location. So if I pick this, for example, set this as my save location. All right, so sales data is my save location. So let's say I had a new notepad file here. And I go to save it. And I pick this library. You can see it saves it in the sales data folder because we set that to be the default save location. And I can also do a save as here. I expand this, 
that sales data, let's say I put it in PDF files just to put it somewhere different. And now it's there too. So even though you set it as the default folder, let's go back there real quick. This doesn't mean that it's always going to save the files there. It's just going to save it there if you pick just the main the library itself. You could pick subfolders within the library to save it to if you want to save it somewhere different. And then you have this set public save location. So if this is a shared library on the network, then you could set this to be your default save location for that. And then this option here, optimize this library for. So if it's just you know documents, you could pick documents. If it's pictures, you could pick that. So that way it'll kind of set the view like the thumbnail, kind of like File Explorer does by default when you go to your pictures folder. So this is not super important, but um, if you want to kind of change the views, you could pick the category for that particular library. All right, then this option here to show a navigation pane. If I uncheck this and hit apply, you can see it disappears from the navigation pane. But if I click on libraries, I can still see it from here. So that's how you'd have to get to it if you didn't want it in your navigation pane. Then you can go back to the properties, enable it again as well. Now this option here usually shows up gray if you have a shared folder for one of your library folders, but I don't, but it's still doing that. And it doesn't, I think it's just a little glitch because it shouldn't be doing that. So if that happens to you, don't go thinking that it's shared because it's probably not. It could be just the same glitch that I'm experiencing. And then if you want to change the icon for your library, you could do that as well. So lots to choose from here. So I'm not sure what a good sales icon would be, but let's just pick something different here just to do it. Like so. Then, of course, if you want to remove a folder, you could just do it from here because, like I said, if I were to remove something from here, then it's going to actually delete it. So, when you want to remove something from your library, make sure you go to the properties and then remove it like that. And then, of course, when you're here too, let's say we right click new word document here so that's in confidential files so it'll update it there as well so you could actually add new files and folders into your library from the library itself you don't have to go to the actual real location to do so all right so once again just right click in a blank area here make sure show libraries is enabled and you'll have your main folder here. Right click on it. New library. Give it a name. Say so you want to have your favorite pictures. And then once you're here, you can include a folder. Let's say we go back down here to pictures. So, and then you know you could just keep adding folders as you want here. Then you could set your default save location if you want to do that. And this time we're going to make this pictures here. And now you can see it changes it to a thumbnail view because we told it this library was going to be used for pictures. And then, like I said, too, if you want to get rid of a folder, make sure you go to the properties, remove it. And if you want to get rid of the library, you could right click on it and delete it. And it's not going to delete the files that used to be in the library. So that's the key takeaway here. So when it comes to deleting things, you could delete the library and be fine. But if you delete stuff in the library, it's going to actually delete it. So it'll still send it to the recycle bin unless you hold down shift, of course. So you could get it back if you accidentally delete something, but 
that's an important key to remember when it comes to using libraries that you could only delete a library but you don't want to delete stuff within the library unless you're actually really meaning to all right so hopefully that makes sense and then if you want to hide your libraries you can always just come back here do so like that and then bring them back whenever you want and i'll be there waiting for you all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe Thank you.